uh, I felt there was enough value in this to pass it on because I was a little surprised about the difference between a hex core string and a round core string. About nine years ago, and I'll put the link to of that video at the end of this video, I did a video about pyramid strings extolling their virtues and how great they were and why they were the best string. And um, eventually, they were kind of expensive. I can't remember what I was paying back then, but I decided to do a string hunt. And I went through all kinds of things like cobalts and can't remember all the strings I tried. Maybe G, well, I think GHS is cobalt. But anyway, I, and I settled on Diodario, Diodario, excuse me. But uh, recently I've had some subscribers send me comments saying, and you really need to try the, the pyramids again. They sound better, and that round core is making a difference. And so, you know, I didn't pay a lot of attention to it because I, you know, I figured that the Diderios have been fine for several years now for me. They last forever. They're very tough. But uh, I had ordered some Fender Bullets. Oh, that was another string I tried, the Fender Bullets, and I really liked the Bullets. But I ordered them three months ago, and they're still on back order through Sweetwater. I, they just because of the pandemic, so I haven't been able to get them. So I decided to order some pyramids. Well, they were on back order, except I was able to get them from uh, Strings by Mail uh, within three weeks, maybe. It, it didn't take long. I just got them today, actually. But that's why I wanted to wait to do this video. But so I'd had I bought two Pyramid Hendrix sets, 10 through 38, almost a year ago, I think. And they just sat here and sat here. And I, I never got the nerve to, or just the gumption, I guess, to put them on because I didn't need to. And so I finally stuck them on because I was running out of strings. And I started to really notice a difference in the round wound sound. And I, and I said, wow, these strings just sound round. It was, I can't explain it. I'll, I'll do a little demo at the end of this to try to hopefully set an example or show you an example of the sound difference. Because right now I've actually got a Diderio hex core D string and in two round core pyramids, A and E. That's one of the disadvantages of the uh, round core string for me, at least the pyramid, was I pretty quickly wore out the D string. When I'm working on these Hendrix tutorials, and I'll sit there and play the same note, sometimes weeks at a time, you know, and I just, I cut through the windings on the, at the frets, and then the the pyramid would actually fray enough to where there was a little wire sticking up. The winding would stick up and it would poke you. Uh, the the Dario's don't do that. And that hex core makes them a lot tougher, I think. So that was the one disadvantage of the round core. So for gigs, I was saying, yeah, if you're not going to just sit there and rail on those things all day long, you might want to put the Dario's on there. But when you want real sound for recording or something, you might want to put the pyramids on. But, so I'm going to show you an example of the, hopefully, the brightness of the hex versus the roundness and the smoothness of the round core. But what, uh, years ago when I went to North Texas State, uh, I, I took music there for a few years. I never graduated, but I, I, I loved the school. And... One of my favorite classes was Acoustics 101. I'll never forget that class. It taught me so much about string vibration, uh, the mechanics of the inner ear, and just a bit of trivia. If you hear loud, certain loud tones out, you know, external to your ears, it'll create a ghost note in your ear just from the distortion of the bones in your ear. And all that was demonstrated in the class. And one of the most interesting thing was he put this big string across. We did lab experiments in this class. Long string across this desk. You know, it was a, a stadium type classroom. And he used a strobe light and he would pluck this big string and he would 
slow it down with the strobe and you could see the sine wave and you could see the nodes. The nodes of the string are, are where the string divides itself. You know, you have the sine wave that kind of crosses over like that and where the string doesn't vibrate, it's called a node. Either way, if I, it was a perfect sine wave and you could see the nodes and then you can calculate the harmonics off of that string. You know, the, the first harmonic is the string divided in half. So A440 becomes A880, which is an octave higher because the string is half the length. Anyway, all that was in that class. And when I started hearing this roundness of the string, I said, I wonder if anybody's ever done an experiment on hex versus round core vibrations. So I posed the question to several people that had done videos about core differences on YouTube and it got no response. So I sent it to uh, Pyramid Strings and a couple other string people that handle pyramids, but the only person I heard from was Max, and I won't try to say his last name because he's German, and uh, it's spelled J-U-N-G-E-R, but it's pronounced completely different. But he sent me a nice letter, and I'll read some of it to you. His, his English is kind of broken, but uh, he said, I'll have to be honest with you. We didn't made any experiment before to compare the both string types to compare round core or hex core strings. We make strings since 170 years. So they've been in business since 1850, which is amazing to me. And in this long period, we worked, let's say, around 140 years with only round core strings, steel strings. Hex core was invented, I don't know, maybe in the late 70s. I haven't been able to determine that, but some people say it was in the 60s. And that's another reason I was going to talk about this, because I'm speculating that Hendrix used all round core st strings, because that was what was available then. But, you know, I'm not positive on that. Anyway, they've only been, he says, uh, we use hex core not that long means we use hex cores since almost 30 years now. Why? Because no steel factory in Europe was able to shape the round steel into hex cores. Now they do. Anyway, we know from a lot of musicians that the round core strings are more soft and have a lot more sustain. The string is swinging easier and rounder. And they are not that bright like hex core strings. Important for a string construction is also the balance of core wire and wrap wire. And that's what I was experiencing. Experiencing, For example, if you use a heavy core wire with a small wrap wire, here you get also stiffer string, maybe a little louder. If you use a small core wires, the string can break away or buzzing around. You mentioned the D-string winding. Yes, it could be when you use, for example, the thinner wire wrap, the wire wrap is more sensitive at the frets. And on the other hand, I guess the D-string is the most playing string on the guitar. So more stressed also. Sorry for my school English and sorry not to be able to more clear to you. But as mentioned, we have never done such big tests because we always handled the round core strings. Was nothing special for us. But either way, I was checking to see if anybody had done the physics because I can hear the difference. And like I said, that acoustic class got my mind thinking. He said, there's got to be something with the vibration of the string that's better than the hex core. So I was going to say, long story short, just try the round cores, you'll like them. For the Hendrix guys, especially anybody really, but for Hendrix, because he uses, you know, E flat and D tunings, which makes the string even looser. And when you hit that thing hard, you, if you get a bunch of clack on your frets and a lot of brightness, it just doesn't sound good. But I'll demonstrate that in just a second. Either way, I hope this was helpful. Uh, the strings used to, was in the thumbnail, but here they are. Strings by mail does the... I don't know if they make the sets, the 10 to 38 themselves, or if Pyramid actually makes them. I think they put them together themselves. Oh, it says created by strings by mail, so they do it specifically for the Hendrix guys. 
But all right, let's get to the little test and I'll see if you can hear a difference. All right, just a quick demo. I doubt you'll be able to hear the difference because of, you know, compression and everything. But uh, I've just about got Dolly Dagger done. I should, hopefully I'll post that in the next few days. That's a tough rhythm, rhythm work there. That's some tough rhythm work. That's all I can say. And then uh, I, I love Freedom, and that is a complex song. And uh, that's going to take some time. And I'm also working on the solos, which I'll try to piece them all together in parts, you know, one and two and maybe even three. But, all right, just a quick demo. I'm trying to show you that uh, the round strings sound better when it comes to Hendrix. because the core is making contact all along the string on that core, that round core, but on a hex core, six-sided like points, there's little air gaps in between every point. And even though it keeps the winding from slipping, which I believe, I don't want to mention the brand name, but I, when I first switched to round core, I had nothing but dead strings all the time. Sometimes I'd have to put two or three strings on it. I was doing everything they said to do. You know, pre-bend, because with a, with the safety post, you have to pre-cut. People say, I don't know why you would ever pre-cut a string. Well, with a fender safety post, you have to, to get it in there, you know. But if you do the 90 degree turn, the bend, it, I do a little over 90, and then I also, take my cr uh, cutters and crimp a little bit on that little short end just to try to anchor the the winding so it doesn't slip because on those other strings it slipped so bad that as soon as I put the string on it was dead so th if you if it slips the string goes dead immediately so you have to be a little more careful with round wound, round core strings so and that's why they went with the hex because it's cheaper to make the hex core bites into the winding to stabilize it and to keep it from slipping. But, uh, let's see. So that, that, that part's on the, the hex core. Sound bad. <laughs> That's why I've been using them for years. But when you compare them, you can hear the difference. I just like the way you can bang on it and it doesn't sit there and chatter around or anything. And, and freedom, I love this part, so I'm going to leave you with this and kind of a teaser. <laughs> Subscribe. I need subscribers. Thank you.